Happy Halloween, loud crowd. Trick or treat, Casa Crew. As you can see, Lincoln and I are getting ready to celebrate. Today, Ronnie Ann and I are going to talk about our favorite Halloween costumes we've worn. And we're going to think of some new ones for our families to wear this year. It's going to be awesome. Hey, the Haunted Mercado looks really good, Ronnie Ann. Thanks, dude. Bobby, Carl, and CJ set this up. They're cobwebs by the register, pumpkins and produce. Oh, and the one thing that scares everybody. Ah! Oh, sorry, Senora Flores. A zombie head in the freezer. <laughs> a head in the freezer? Sounds like Halloween in the Loud House. I love Halloween. <laughs> Speaking of, how's the haunted corn maze coming along? Great. My family is helping Lucy put the final touches on it now. More blood. Definitely more blood. Wait, even your dad? I thought he was totally afraid of Halloween. <laughs> what was that? Oh, he still is. That's why this year he's locking himself in Lisa's bunker until it's over. <laughs> Are you helping out with the maze? I'm on the lookout for pranksters. Last year, Franklin Street got hit pretty bad by those two middle schoolers. So I'm in charge of making sure there are no surprises. Uh, Lincoln? Pranksters, beware! You might want to turn... Nothing's getting past me tonight. Hello. Yeah! When will he learn? Hi, Ronnie Ann. Hey, Lucy. How's the maze coming along? Dreadful. I'll take that as a good thing. Please thank Bobby for the haunted prop tips. Of course. He picked up a few tricks working at the House of Terror. Styrofoam. Food coloring. Toilet paper. Yogurt with fruit mixed in. Our props look like the real thing. Um, how would you know that? Okay, that one didn't count. Nothing else will get by me tonight. <laughs> sure. So, Lincoln, got any trick-or-treat tips to maximize our candy hauls this year? You know I do. Clyde and I have come up with something really simple. All you have to do is get a hold of some satellite photos of the neighborhood, analyze median income levels, and track candy buyers throughout southeastern Michigan. Oh, yeah. Sounds really simple. Do you have the number to the space station so I can get those satellite images? Hmm. I guess my plan is a little overcomplicated. <laughs> Just a little. Then I would suggest my younger sister's method. We're also a mermaid and a pirate. And salt and pepper shakers. This way we can hit each house three times. That year, they got three times the amount of candy as everyone else. Cute wins every time. What about you guys? I'm sure Carl has a foolproof plan for candy. I think Carl's done with schemes for a while, especially after getting spooked by his El Cucuy tram scam. <laughs> uh, I'd be spooked too. Have you thought about what you wanted to be this year? Yeah. At first, I tried asking around, but Sergio just suggested that I dressed as him for Halloween. <laughs> Not surprising. But then I narrowed it down to two options. I'm between La Tormenta and Ana Renata. Why not two costumes? Sid and I had two costumes last year. Well, kinda. And we ended up getting kicked out of two parties. Remember? Uh, ah! Sorry. My gumballs! Whoa! Come on, man! man! It's a rat! And it's huge! Ah, get it off! Get it off! Ah, I got gotcha. you! Ah. <laughs> they love us! We're skate stars! Oh, right. Gravity. Ah. Oh, yeah! But the gumball and lobster costumes were so cool. Don't forget about the French mime. We're dressed as mimes. Very big in France. Oh. Are you and Clyde going as Ace and One-Eyed Jack again? Not this year. We've decided to go as ARG cadets. And no way! I tried to convince my whole family to dress up with us, but they said no. Well, everybody but Lynn. She gave me a noogie and then said no. Uh, maybe next year. <laughs> well, you guys have done family costumes before, right? Yeah, and those are my favorite. Here, check these out. We've been Pioneers, The Full Deck, 
And we've even dressed up as each other. Is that you dressed up like Lily? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. My family's had their fair share of embarrassing costumes, too. We've been turkeys, pirates, and my Thea Frida's even had us dress up as vegetables for her portrait, emotionally raw vegetables. Oh, I definitely remember that one. <laughs> oh, do you want to talk about what we think our families should be for Halloween this year? Totally. You can go first, Ronnie Ann. Okay, I've put a lot of thought into this one. I'll start with Bobby. Every year, Bobby usually dresses up as a vampire. But this year, I was thinking he could combine a few forgotten items around the Mercado and transform into the Lost and Found Man. That's not a good look for you. The cowboy hat is a nice touch. I'll let him know you said that. Next up is CJ and Carl. Together, they make up the unstoppable Lucha Libra duo. Super CJ and El Chupacabra of Steel. Plus, they already have the same costume for my abuelo's birthday. Next up is the loser dorso. Starring me, Super CJ. And me, El Chupacabra of Steel. Behold my power! <laughs> Let me up. Come on. Carlota is always on a mission to find the best thrift store finds and latest trends in fashion and pop culture. So for Halloween, she could be Agent Undercover Up, the fashion-forward secret spy. And finally, there's Carlitos. I figured he and Lalo could team up and strut around the block as the superstars they think they are. Whoa! Those are awesome picks! Thanks, dude. Okay, I can't wait to hear what you have planned for your sisters. Okay, let's start with Lori. As the oldest and most senior loud sibling, I thought, why not embrace the senior lifestyle this year as a Sunset Canyon resident? Oh, my soup's literally too hot! How am I ever going to eat it? Oh, let me help, dear. Even though she doesn't have her license yet, I thought Lenny could wear her driving outfit. She's definitely the best dresser out of all of us. Just not the best driver. Wait! I need my special driving outfit! Great. Next is Luna. She can dress up as her pop star alter ego, Lulu. I think Lola still has the wig somewhere. Hey, Lola. Dude, it's me, Luna. <gasps> Learn to take a compliment, sweetie. For someone as funny as Luann, her costume game is no joke. That's why this year, I thought Luann should be a mime. Although, she might have a hard time resisting a pun or two. I would have been here sooner, but I had to wait for a chicken to cross the road. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side, to run away from the cook, to prove he's no chicken! Sweet comic relief. Known as the penguin by the Royal Woods Jellyfish, Lynn could dress up like her favorite hockey player, Rowdy McWads. <laughs> 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 Last year, Lola and Lana were Abraham Lincoln in the Statue of Liberty, and Salt and Pepper, and a pirate and a mermaid. This year, the theme will be Dairyland. Lola will be Little Miss Swiss, while Lana can be a tippy club kid. We'll just make sure Lana doesn't get too close to Lola's cheese crown. Lana! Sorry, I had to eat something. I had to talk to the spirits about Lucy's costume. They told me... She should be Lady Lucy, the Bride of Edwin. I thought this year, maybe Lisa could hang up the kangaroo costume and put on this zombie-protecting hazmat suit. It also comes in handy if Lily needs a diaper change. <laughs> Negative. It's clean. And now, for Lily's terrifying transformation, every full moon, Lily turns from Baby Roo into... A werewolf! Uh -huh. ah! Lily, wrong time to break out your new wolf jammies. <laughs> really terrifying. <laughs> yeah, uh, it never actually scared me. All vampires, please report to the dance floor. It's time to boogie! Sounds like Bobby's starting to play the vampire boogie. I better go help him.
Can't wait to hear how it goes. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, and tell Lucy good luck with her maze. Thanks, Ronnie Ann. Yeah! <laughs> Bye, everyone. That one didn't count either.